In my work, I really try to reproduce smell scenarios for different purposes, be it a street, be it a neighborhood in a city. I've done thousands of smell all over the world. Could we, on behalf of a smell molecule, find out something about history that we otherwise wouldn't know? This is Cecil Tolis. She is many things. An artist, a scientist, but more importantly, a smell expert. She, however, prefers another title. I call myself a professional in-betweener. Which means what exactly? There's a whole world to smell and a whole world to educate how to smell, so you cannot just limit yourself to one discipline. Right. The point is, she has dedicated her life to the sense of smell, what it means and how it can be used to better understand the world and each other. Pretty early in my life, I started to ask questions. Why are we only understanding the world on behalf of how the world looks like? What if we start to use the other senses more appropriate for the same purpose? Off I went, starting to discover the same world I've been looking at for several years, using the nose for the purpose. So how exactly did she go about recording and then reproducing these smells? I would walk around, identify smells with my own nose, I have small devices that enable me to collect the smell molecules emitting from the source. With the result, I go to my lab, and then the data I get back is then the starting point of reproduction of the actual smell. I have a lab consisting of up to 4,000 chemical compounds, and with those ingredients, with those compounds, I literally reproduce invisible reality that surrounds you full time, all the time. Name a city, a neighborhood within a neighborhood, a historical building, or even an era in time, and most likely Sizzle has reproduced that smell, along with thousands of other scents here in her lab, with the hopes of using the findings for a bigger purpose. The purpose can be tolerance, education, navigation, to memorize, the list is endless. It's more interesting if you really start to understand the smells and see how you can use that information for a purpose beyond the smell itself. Thank you.